Spears aren't the only ones getting ready for the season. So are some jewelers. Emily Deem is live in Oshkosh to explain. She's inside in the warmth. Uh -huh. Doesn't she look refreshed? Happier she is, <laughs> yes. Oh, I have to say, Rachel and Pete, it was chilly this morning out near, near Lake Winnebago. We were in the town of Mina earlier this morning, but we now have moved to Oshkosh. We are at Reimer's Jewelers. Reimer Jewelers this morning. Paul Sambauer, Spambauer, gosh darn it, I'm going to get something right this morning. I was just so cold earlier, It was chilly this morning. It was, so now that I'm all nice and warm in here, but we're talking about jewelry, but sturgeon jewelry. So you're Correct. creating the sturgeon, which a lot of people would say is not very attractive. You're making it beautiful. I am making it beautiful. So tell me about what we have here, Paul. What I do here is I make custom jewelry at Reimer Jewelers, uh, bridal pendants, rings and fish jewelry. I start with, whether it's a ring or a pendant, I start with a block of wax and start shaping it. And then I get the, start carving in the details. I cast the pieces into either silver or gold or sometimes platinum. And from that standpoint, from that point, um, I start filing and sanding and polishing them and make them beautiful. And so what are we gonna and see here with the ring? With the rings, you can see they start out as just a blank I draw the pattern on them, and then I start roughing them out, getting the detail. Wow. And I cast them into metal, and just, you see jewelry does not come out real shiny. Mm -hmm. It has to be worked on. Cut the screws off, cut the button off, start cleaning them up. And then when I get to a certain point, I start, I put the diamond eye in and then do the final polish. And that's what we're going to see right now, correct? We are going to see right now. Okay, so take me through the process of what you have to do for this. <clears throat> I already cut a seat and dropped in the black diamond. So I have it positioned, I have it level in there, and then I take these dental tools, which I've reshaped. Then I just start <clears throat> tapping around the outside of the stone to move the metal in towards the diamond. And this is what will lock the diamond in forever. It doesn't take a lot of pressure, but you just gently go around the whole stone and the metal moves in over the stone and then that's what locks it in. Wow. And just go in and smooth it. That sturgeon really is beautiful. Paul, thanks for showing us how that's done. And make sure to watch Good Day Wisconsin this weekend. Uh, Pauline is going to be out for the Sturgeon Spirit season, which starts on Saturday. She's going to have to bundle up along with a lot of other people that are going to be out there on Lake Winnebago. Be sure to watch and be sure to stay tuned for us as well. We're going to be out here again at Reimer Jewelers in Oshkosh. You can learn more at our website. Paul, you are very crafty. That is one beautiful fish. We're going to send it back to you, Rachel and Pete. Really neat how he thanks, does Sam. that.